there is a focused energetic frequency that is inside of you, where you are each residing in a continual assistance from who I am as your commander Ashtar, of who we are of the angelic realms, of the galactic council, of the galactic federation of light. With this rise in conscious awareness comes a deeper path of realizing the core foundation of this transformation is inside of you now, where you are on this world, not outside of you. This allows you to see the importance of continuing to be more of assistance for ascension, to then soar more into a path of galactic homecomings, and celebrations on various neighboring star systems. As you notice the inner warmth that is developing more inside of you, this is a natural glowing of more divinity, in which there are no ways to prevent you from ascending more, with your steady intention. It is all from your focus and delight to see that you are here to present only a conscious reality change of more oneness, of a delightful experience of existence in full consciousness. With this comes a steady stream of realizing that this connection is all deeply vibrating through your chakra systems, to then bring forth only the best of results in the healing transitory state of being. It is not necessary to focus on trying to have all around you to ascend, as it is not up to you to decide to for all to ascend that you interact with, it is only in your ability to choose to ascend. This is where you are seeing the respectfulness which comes with those choosing not to ascend, who are still choosing the reincarnation path, in which the lower ego self says often, who would choose to reincarnate again? Just as you see those that refuse to stop creating war, that refuse to stop fighting, that refuse to stop talking about hate, that refuse to stop suffering, this is clearly a large amount of humans still. To see that it is a choice to then place your intention in how you are creating your reality, it then is not about carrying faith that all are going to ascend, no, you are then seeing your own ascension is at hand. With this entrance, then you are noticing that you are not able to rise the vibrations of those who are descending, instead of ascending, meaning are still murdering, killing, and raping. It is important to be more aware of this in your daily interactions, so that you are not sucked into the lower dimensional trauma that a lot of humans are carrying on to. This is not about positive or negative, as that is still in duality, as you notice that those who feel they are already aware of everything about ascension, often say with the lower ego self, just don't think negatively, and things will be alright. As you see that is clearly deceptive, as a large amount of thoughts that are judgmental are harmful in nature, and to see only duality is to still see separation only from one another. That then shows why there are large amounts of humans saying with the lower ego self, but they are not me, so I don't care about them. The mere insanity of the lower ego self is it is not able to recognize unity and as a result only is able to act from a greedy, selfish, deceptive, violent, destructive nature, in which to ascend beyond this is bliss. Blissfulness is not some fairy tale that is simply talked about, no, it is an actual reality as you are ascending more, in which this is not awaiting, in which you see those saying with the lower ego self, I can't wait for ascension. As you notice for those souls, they feel that there is a waiting time in which you are able to ascend, and often do little to no light work, and are expecting to rise within the earth. That is not how this works, and if that was the case, then none of you would need to perform any healing work, and you would just be violent, and destructive, greedy, as a lot of humans, and ascend in this lifetime. Clearly you are seeing that is not how this works, in which the gateway into your eternal self, into our galactic communities with who we are of the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians remains in a consistent layer of light. It takes a strong vibration to continue to rise more out of duality, to then recognize that duality is a prison of the Cabal, in which those who are not rising their vibration, but lowering their vibrations through fear, 
unself-destructive paths are reincarnating on these worlds with the Cabal. In making no errors in consciousness about this, as you are choosing to then assist humanity, then you are choosing to assist your own self, in which you are keeping open a field of energy to then gather more awareness of your light source. This is a complete field regeneration, of then allowing yourself to maintain a heightened state of responsibility when it comes with ascension, and how important each of your missions are. The lower ego self is not able to see the importance of ascension, and sees only gaining material, as well as status as the most important reality, and feels that is the purpose of life. To see that your sole purpose is to continue as the 144,000 light beings to assist in the dawning of awakening of pure consciousness, then this is a leap in evolving into a deeper state of gratitude for your existence. Within this state comes a graduation ceremony from duality, in which that includes full consciousness, being a galactic citizen, and then seeing the end to all cycles of reincarnation in your experience. This needs to be increased in seriousness in how you are each then focusing solely on ascension, then focusing solely on bringing up your vibrations, in which you are not being drawn into the lower vibrations of fear. As you notice a lot of humans spend money to be placed into fear, in the form of a lot of horror, violence, and destruction in media, and often label it with the lower ego self as fun. Only the real reality of duality is that there are women, men, and children being killed, in wars daily on this world, in which the screams are heard from our galactic fleet daily. To see that this is why this is a serious mission for each of you to continue to be of daily assistance, then you are rising the vibrations to allow for a shifting out of the hell realms on the surface of Earth. Earth as a living light being collective is then generating a consistent reality of more peacefulness, of then going through a number of dramatic changes, in which it is happening now to then shift in a higher vibrational world. You notice this in the dramatic weather patterns, in the massive amounts of earthquakes still happening around the ring of fire, as well as the internal changes going on inside of you to bring up more dimensions of light. We stand in a field of responsibility, we are the angelic realms, we are the galactic federation of light.